guys, I'm not here to say, oh, you did the carnivore diet wrong. No, but what I'm here to say is you didn't even do the carnivore diet. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today's talk is motivated by recent events. John Venus ate some eggs. Tristan and me talked to him. We discussed the likelihood of a couple of eggs improving his health conditions and came to the conclusion that it's absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense to believe that after eating a couple of eggs, you will feel better. However, John said that his motivation came from listening to ex-vegans on YouTube. They were talking about absolute miracles, libido returns overnight after eating salmon and whatnot. Hence, he tried it for a couple of days. How many, we will never know. And he didn't see improvement. So guys, today I want to share my view on the whole subject matter and what happened to me after the reintroduction of animal foods. So, as so many ex-vegans before me, I tried eggs as the gateway food, so to speak. And I wanted to ensure that there will be no emotional attachment. I didn't want to make it very tasty. I didn't want to make omelettes or scrambled eggs. I just wanted to see if there will be an effect. Therefore, I chose raw eggs first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. But I started with only one egg. So one egg later didn't feel a difference. Two eggs later didn't feel a difference. Three eggs later didn't feel a difference. And I did this for a whole week. On day seven, all of a sudden I started feeling a difference. But I promised myself that this will be a seven day experiment. Very smart, Bobby. Anyways, the seven days were over. I felt a bit better, but I blamed it on placebo. As always, I was still in denial mode. And after a couple of weeks, that good feeling started to disappear again. This is when I really started questioning my life choices and my allegiance to veganism. Ridiculous. And came to the conclusion that further experimentation is needed. This time I chose fish, raw fish yet again. And I started eating in Japanese restaurants. Keep it simple. I had a bunch of sushi and in the beginning the brainwashing was so strong that I was telling myself I don't feel anything, no effects whatsoever, right? On the second day I went to an all-you-can-eat buffet with my girlfriend and I will never forget it because I was sitting there eating the raw fish and hating my life, right? Oh, it's so disgusting, I hate it so much, I don't want any part of this. But I had to do it because I'm a man of my word. I stuck to it. I said I'm going to do another seven day fish experiment. So after the second day, I started feeling some improvement, but I was still in denial. Day three made the shift. After day three, I had some sushi again. I couldn't deny it anymore. My mind was finally back to normal. Prior to that, I had anxiety, I had digestive upset, I had tooth pain and whatnot. All of that was gone at day three. My mind was so clear. Finally, I didn't need any jump cuts in my videos. Finally, I could form a coherent thought, a sentence that actually makes sense. I was back to myself. It took me three days with raw fish. So now, why am I telling you this? Guys, I know that some people eat one animal food and out of a sudden they're back to normal, right? They feel a tingling in their brain, they feel this energy burst and they're back to normal. Even my little sister, her first food was a Thai, Pad Thai, with an egg, just a little egg, but she felt a difference as well, straight after eating it. My point is that not everybody will have the same effect and therefore you have to give it a fair shot. For many people, it is an issue with intolerances to plant foods and you cannot expect to get better results whilst keeping all of those plant foods in your diet. Oxalate rich leaves, lectin rich beans, phytoestrogen ridden soy and whatnot. Now, if you eat all of those foods and you incorporate one egg or two, it won't make a difference. Maybe it will for some, but most likely it won't. 
Therefore, you have to give it a fair shot. What does that mean? Remove the plant foods. Ideally, you try a ketogenic diet, a carnivore diet, a low carb diet, a low FODMAP diet, something on those lines. Keep it simple. You can reduce it to a bodybuilding diet as well. You can eat rice and chicken, for example. Keep it minimal, unprocessed, whole foods to see what is what. So now, what is the reason why people experience different phenomena? We won't really know. It could be due to severe depletion. Maybe some people are so severely depleted that the body recognizes the animal food right away. Others react differently to it. Maybe it takes more time until the tissues get saturated. Looking at my example, the thing that I definitely missed was DHA and EPA in a bioavailable form. Vitamin A, vitamin D3, all of those things you can find in raw animal foods. But as I said, it wasn't just overnight. It took a saturation window. Seven days for the eggs to start acting. Three days for the fish to really kick in. And after that, there was no going back. I like to quote my little sister, once you go egg, you never go back. Without ranting on for too long, this video is for people that want to break free from the vegan cult, but do not know how. And now they're further misled and misinformed by people like John Venus that experimented with a couple of animal foods for a couple of days and it didn't do shit. Wow, big surprise. Guys, I'm not here to say, oh, you did the carnivore diet wrong. No, but what I'm here to say is you didn't even do the carnivore diet. Diet. If you want to go vegan, you exclude all the animal foods. And if you want to go carnivore, you have to exclude all the plant foods. Makes sense, right? Give it a fair shot and see what it can do for you. All right, then. but this is for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. With Amazon links for you, you can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo or even raw. All right, but this is it. Thank you very much for your support. And as always, much love and peace.